Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm going to do something I almost never do. I'm going to do a sponsored video today. And what that means is somebody provided me with a tool and I'm going to do a review on it. And I think when you see it, you're going to be as excited as I was to see this tool. And what I'm talking about is this little laser etcher. The first time I saw one of these is probably about 20 years ago and I've always wanted my very own laser etcher, but the one that I really wanted is an industrial one. It's five feet by five feet and it stands about this high and they cost about $10,000 and just not something I could justify. Uh, but now you can actually purchase these as a hobby or a home unit and that's what I want to talk about today. So any of you who have been following me for a couple of years, remember the first phone case I made? This was the little bit thicker one. I remember I went out and got this laser etched and that was two or three years ago. So um, etching has been on my mind for a long time. The unit that I'm going to be talking about and showing you today has been provided by a company called Banggood. Now, I've been dealing with Banggood for, oh, probably a couple of years. I buy some tools and bits and parts and some camera accessories and things from them. And recently they approached me and said, we have a laser etcher uh, and if you would do a video on it, we'll provide you with, them, with the tool. I didn't even know they had such a tool uh, until I looked it up. They actually have a range of them. I think there's four or five tools that they have, these little laser etchers. This isn't the top of the line, but it's, it's getting up there. It's close to the top of the line. Uh, so it has a good range. But let me show you some of the things that I've been working with. Now let me show you what some of the results are like that I got started with. Now when you first when I first got the machine and got it set up and working, this is what I what I made. Now this is the Woodwork Web logo and you can see it just looks like some black lines. I'll show you some close-ups of this later on. But as I got learning the tool a bit more and you, I started working with some, some text and my own name and you can see that I started to refine it. Then I got a little bit adventurous and I took an old saw blade that I had, I just painted it black, and look, I even etched on it. I etched the Woodwork Web logo. But, you know, these tools are so amazing. Um, you know, if, you, if, if all you want to do is print pictures of butterflies and flowers and things like that, that's one thing. But you know what? These can be made a tool for the workshop. Now, not long ago, I made uh, a little keepsake box, or a little jewelry box. And if you remember, uh, I used some lovely um, spalted wood for the top. Now, not everybody has spalted wood. So what else can you do if you want to make something like that and you still want to make a bit of a, spectac a spectacular box? Well, you know what? Check this out. And again, I'll show you cloaks of, of all these later on. Look at this, uh, a, a little, the Eiffel Tower and, uh, and the word Paris there. Um, I can think of lots of people who have children or grandchildren who would love a little keepsake box or a little jewelry box uh, with a lid like that on it. Uh, just something different and unique that you can make with these little laser etchers. So here are some examples of some of the tests I've made and you can see uh, this is more of a softwood here and this is hardwood down here. This is maple and you can see when you adjust the density uh, depending on how fine the print is and this one here you can see it's still blocked up but check this one out down here. There's the Woodwork Web logo and you can actually read uh, Woodwork Web on that one. So uh, you do need to have a little bit of time and patience to work out the best settings. And there's a close-up of that circular saw blade that I made. You can see the fine detail on there. You can actually read that quite nicely, especially if I get it in the, the right light. And I just painted that with black paint and, and then etched it. Now what you're looking at right now is etching on glass. Yes, I even etched some glass. Now watch when I zoom out. It's very, very tiny. And there's, there's the sheet of glass.
So there's the Eiffel Tower and the Paris sign. Now, typically, I would go in and sand these, but I haven't done that. I wanted you to see the raw printing. Now, this is still a little bit uh, more powerful than I would like to see it, uh, but you can see the detail that you can get. Very fine detail. So let me tell you a little bit about this etcher and what I've learned from it. Now, first of all, it comes really well packaged in a, a cardboard box um, and you need to put it together. And if you look in the box for instructions, there are no instructions. And that's because they have such a worldwide um, base of, of customers, uh, they'd have to make so many different languages. So what they do, um, they have a lang if you go to their website where you purchase the unit, they have some YouTube videos and you follow the YouTube videos and that's how you put it together. Now this unit uh, took me about five hours to put together. So when you receive these, don't expect you're going to unpackage it out of the box, plug it in and, and away you go. No, this is, this is really some uh, woodwork working pioneering. This is like where CNC routers were um, 15 or 20 years ago. Um, this is sort of pioneering in new woodworking tools and exploring all the different things that you could do with this. So once you get it together, the next thing you need to do is download software and typically you'll need a Windows computer. I don't believe the software is Apple compatible and I'm pretty sure that um, phones and tablets are not going to have the processing power that you're going to need to actually drive this. So you're going to need uh, a real computer and I've got this one hooked up to my laptop. One of the other things that I didn't produce but that this unit will do is with very thin foams or very fine veneers it will actually cut all the way around them so uh, and that's what this star was here was just a, an experiment to drawing a line around but it, it's just the thick cardboard but you could use this for patterns. Now what I'm going to do now they give you these special glasses as well but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up uh, and take the, the Woodwork Lab Web logo off and I'm just going to put my first name on there and we're going to print that and I'm going to show you in real time and in speed it up time because these machines are a little bit slow remember they're hobby machines or home machines or not commercial uh, but I'm going to show you what it takes to print my, just my first name. So there's that finished name, and I've put that tape measure there so you can see that. That's uh, about an inch long or so, and that took about five minutes or so to do. So it's not a speedy process, but the good news is that you can set this up, hit go, and it will just print what you want. You can go off and do other things. So it's not like a table saw that you have to sit and do something with or a router table. Um, this will go off and just do what it needs to do uh, and you can be free to do other things. So these little etching machines are really cool little um, revolutionary little machines and for some of you they'll actually change the way you do woodworking. And when you start thinking of all of the areas that you could use these it just my brain just gets <laughs> flooded with ideas. There's just so many neat things. You could do any size. You could you could sign the back of a spoon uh, or a, a, a vanity table. Uh, there's all sorts of sizes that you could use, and it's not restricted like a, a five by five because this is all portable. You can actually take this and move it somewhere and put it on a piece of wood. So you could etch a tabletop. Uh, you could turn a a cupboard on its side and do that. You could lay a spoon down. It's just amazing when I think of all of the things that you could do with this. Um, cutting boards, uh, boxes, uh, door panels, the list just goes on and on.
Well, and that concludes my video on the laser etcher. Uh, you can probably tell by my enthusiasm why, when they asked me to do this video, why I said, yeah, I'd like to try this and, and see what a, a small unit like this is like. Uh, and I've, I've quite come to like it. I'm going to have to temper myself because they can be time consuming. They can take up a fair bit of your time. Um, but I think in upcoming videos, uh, you're going to see where some of the ideas, and I'm sure you, people will come up, uh, viewers will come up with even more ideas for me, uh, places that we can use this. So I'm looking forward to, to see what we can do with, the, with this kind of uh, technology in the future. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching. Uh, and don't forget there will be an article on this uh, that I spent a fair bit of time uh, and I'm going to modify uh, as we can continue to do things. So stay tuned. we got lots more videos coming your way.